Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to 2023 OWASP AppSec Singapore. My name is Donald Wong, and I'll be monitoring uh, this session today. Today, we have Zufar. Uh, he is from GoToFinancial, and he'll be discussing uh, OWASP Carosa, open source web application firewall for cloud native service mesh. So without further ado, Mr. Zufar, go right ahead. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Donald. So let me share my screen first. Oops. Yes, okay. Okay. So is my screen okay? Cool. I think Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Donald, uh, for uh, introducing me. Uh, hey, everyone, uh, thanks for actually joining uh, my session. Uh, good to see you on OSP uh, 2023 Google AppSec. I would like to actually thank you to the organizer for selecting and accepting my talk. I hope that we can learn together uh, on this conference, okay? Uh, just probably, some notes that this session will might be a uh, demo heavy. So anyway, let's just start. Mm, yep. So let me try to introduce also my, again myself. Uh, my name is Zufar Dialhak. Uh, I'm currently uh, working as engineering manager at Koto Financial. Uh, it's on infrastructure uh, product. Uh, so I'm also a Corazza web contributor. I contribute to several codes on Coraza code base, most likely on the WebAssembly one. I also uh, organizing some meetup and uh, I mean, monthly meetup, uh, data to the Kubernetes and Cognitive in Indonesia. And we also, every year, we, uh, we schedule this Kubernetes community days. Uh, and most likely my work is related to Kubernetes, uh, service mesh, GCP and AWS, so related to the infrastructure itself. Cool. Uh, so let's start. Uh, I will try to introduce about the history of web, uh, web application firewall and how OSP is actually contributed in there. So this is, is uh, some historical uh, data in 1999, uh, AppShot is actually uh, created. It's the first WAF. Uh, it's actually a significant milestone on the web security because uh, this is the first uh, service that capable to uh, detect the HTTP request and applying policy to that, uh, to that HTTP request. Either it can be allow or it can be denied. So it's actually reading the HTTP request like HTTP host or something. In 2002, another pivotal, I mean, moment is actually uh, happened on the security world. We, uh, during that time in 2002, mod security is actually uh, releases as an Apache module. So it's open source WAF that built directly inside the Apache web server. And yes, in 2003, WhatsApp releases the first draft of top 10. It's actually the document that uh, shared the structure of the web phone until today. I will try to explain uh, the, about the top 10 uh, a bit more later. In 2005, uh, WAF EC, uh, WAF EC is actually web as application firewall. Uh, what is that? Evaluation cri uh, criteria. It's actually a standard that define on how web application firewall should behave and should not behave. What is uh, the capability that should be able uh, to work on WAF itself? So it's it's just a standard. Fast forward to 2013, uh, Corel set is actually emerged. It's 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 an open source rule built on top of mod security that is actually open source that and, and it's public and everyone can actually configure. Let me try to uh, deep dive into the mod security. Uh, again, it's releases in 2002 and it's actually the first open source work. 
uh, it's making web application firewall accessible across uh, all of the community and community can directly contribute because it's actually open source, right? It's designed as Apache module and it can be integrated as uh, in the Apache uh, web server itself. The notable feature or the most feature that uh, is introduced in the mod security is actually they introduce a security language. It's actually language for defining rules as it's a standard because they created and configured and they also create the engine to parse the language and apply the policy to, for example, uh, to the Apache web server. Uh, with this security language, right? Uh, it's actually a powerful tool because everyone can actually create their own uh, customized role. They can create role uh, specifically uh, and tailor to their businesses or to their uh, company. Awesome top 10 is actually a standard awareness document for everyone, for developers, for a security engineer, for DevOps engineers, right? It's, uh, it's actually created from a consensus uh, within the community. Uh, they list uh, the most critical security risks in the web application. And the, the great thing with the top 10 is actually it's not static, which means that it's regularly update to reflect the evolving threat uh, within the web, uh, web services, right? This list is actually updated viewers to ensure that, I mean, the the risk the security risk is actually remain relevant and you can check this awesome.org the project and the latest update is actually on 2021 if you can see that uh, the top 10 is actually changing there is some merge or for example in 2017 the broken access control is located on the number five but in 2021 it's located on the number one so it's uh so again, it's evolving every few years. So by following this, we can ensure that, okay, we following the, the latest security attack or something, right? Uh, I, a company actually should uh, start using this uh, as the starting point to ensure that uh, they updated with the latest security risk. Okay, I think that's all. And in 2013, right, uh, you know that Mod Security created this uh, security language. Everyone can create their own rules, but there is a uh, initiative from the community that, okay, I think we need uh, open source rules gen uh, to protect for generic attack, right? For example, SQL injection or cross-set scripting and all of those. So Coral set is actually created. It's based on the mod security and it's open source. So everyone can contribute to the Coral set, contribute to the rules, modify the rules to make sure that it's have lower false positive, for example, and everyone can directly use it. And the rules uh, against, right, uh, it's actually designed effectively to protect against web application attack. And Coral Set can also protect us uh, against vulnerability listed on the OW OSET top 10 itself. So it's including the top 10 rules and with minimum false uh, alert. It can protect from SQL injection, cross set scripting, uh, bot detection, all of those. You can directly open the Coral Set Orch or you can open the, what is that? The GitHub and you can see all of the roles that uh, in, in the Coral Set. Yeah, and, and you can see how they actually detect uh, this. Okay, so that is the some introduction about the the WAF. So I want to introduce you about uh, Osep Coraza. Again, right, uh, just to give you some background that, uh, Trustwave is actually announced uh, and of support for mod security on, I mean, in 2024, which is three months from now. And again, 
uh, and a lot of companies they already probably use mod security uh, as their web capability either this company uh, use mod security and resell it rebrand and resell that or the the, the most common one is actually when you use Kubernetes, you use Ingress and Nginx, they provide uh, the WAF with a mod security, right? This, we need to find alternative on this one because it's uh, the announced and of support and I'm not, I'm not sure mod security. Right now, there are actually few open source WAF solution in the market that can replace mod security. The issue is with that integration with the existing infrastructure, right? It's complicated. Uh, most likely, this open source solution or enterprise solution, I can say, we need uh, we need to convert our existing mod security roles into their format. So, for example, you already built a uh, seven years or five years or Ten years of uh, security language that very good for your company, and turns out that you need to convert these rules one by one to uh, to this open source format, and there might be architectural changes because you need to replace or and are actually required for this open source solution. So. I like to introduce you about Coraza. It's an uh, open source web application firewall uh, that you can consider to replace mod security. Uh, because uh, with Coraza, right? Uh, Coraza support the sec language, uh, sec uh, security language rules set itself. So with Coraza, you can actually seamlessly transition from mod security to Coraza without changing your, uh, without converting your roles. It's actually compatible with mod security and Coraza also compatible with uh, Coral set. So you can easily migrate from uh, mod security to Coraza and you does not need to actually recreate your security policy from scratch. You can just copy the mod security set line or rules to Coraza and it should be works. Cool. Uh, Coraza is actually, I mean, it's implementation of sec lang engine, same like mod security. Uh, you can see the documentation in here, which is Coraza.io doc sec lang. When you open those, uh, there are a lot of uh, 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 documentation to create the 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 the, the sec lang it for it itself. But I think if, if you're actually familiar with uh, mod security, you, you will know uh, that there are one directive which is called SecRul. So SecRul is actually, uh, I think, the most important one to understand, where it's actually defined how web requests should be processed and evaluated, for example, blob. So if you can see the format for SecRul itself, uh, they have variables, operator, argument, and action. So let's say I want to block uh, everyone that calling uh, to my proxy, to my web server with a uh, host header foo. So I will just create this sec role. This is the variable, which is variable from the request header, which is host. I try to block foo, and this is the faces. And this is the action I mean. It's the action deny and try, please lock this as host header foo is blocked. You can also block request URI, for example, admin. Uh, if I, if everyone calling my endpoints or my domains with uh, slash admin, I can try to block those and return, for example, 403. So Coraza is actually providing a very good uh, playground. So you can actually test your sec rule before you actually put those into action. Right, so when you uh you can try to open this playground. I, I will try to demo. Okay, let's let's try to demo. So this is the playground of Coraza. So you create your HTTP request in here, and you 
uh, this is the directive, which is uh, sacral, uh, the, the, the similar in the slide, right? So let's say uh, this is, let's use the, uh, okay, let me just cut this first so I can easily paste it. So this is the sacral request header. And I will put folks, not foo, yeah. And let's see, in the rule match, I will just disable core rule set. And it's not matching anything. But if I remove the X, if you can see, uh, the rule is matched because you see it's matched the header. What happened if I try to match anything? The request URI, right? Uh, so let's try to run. Oh, okay, because uh, it's still here. So let me just disable it this first. See, admin path is okay. So I think this is admin path, sorry. It should be anything path. Yeah, something like that, anything. So you can actually use this uh, playground.coraz.io to test your uh, your rules before you actually implement this in the server itself, in the proxy, in the anything that actually use uh, Coraza. So this is the internal process of uh, Coraza. If you can see the diagram, it's a little bit similar with mod security. There are five phases. The phase one, phase two, three, five, four, and five. Uh, the first thing that Coraza will do, it, it will process the connection, uh, process the URI and host header, add request header, and you, can actually perform a disruption action on its faces. For example, okay, uh, I just want to block uh, a request, uh, block something from request header. So I can directly block those in the phase one without waiting another faces. So you can actually, so if you see, okay, let's next. If you see here, there are faces. So you can actually put your role in the correct phases. For example, okay, I, if, if I just want to block host header, I will just put those in phase one. I actually does not require those to put in phase four. But you can actually put the roles in phase four. It's up to you. We can try, let's try to simulate. So we can put this in phase four and put anything in the phase one. And I will try to enable call set to see what happened. So if you see, Anything path was blocked. And after that, the core rule set will execute it. Because if you see, this is enabling body inspection. I believe this is will, I mean, this will be executed after phase one, right? So I, let's try to put this phase two and see. See, uh, the, the enabling body in inspection will be put, uh, will be executed before the any path because it's actually uh, we put the the request URL anything in the phase two so yep I think this playground is pretty uh, comprehensive you can try to create your own role and simulate simulate in here ah okay also Coraza by default is actually 100 compatible with all WSP Coraza I think I already show the request this is is access attack when I disable it, right? Let's let just delete this one, I think. When I disable, it will not match anything. But when I enable Coral Set, you see that it's actually match uh, the, what's that? The XSS attack. And it's, yeah, it can actually block those. You can try to check all of the capability of Coral Set in this playground itself. Just create the head static request, enable the Coral setting here, right? And yeah, you can see if the role is actually matched and you can directly implement it if it's required. Okay, cool. So another demo that Coraza is actually library as it as a uh, in the core, it's actually just library. It's just an engine to parse, which means that it's actually, uh, sorry, it's Golang library, which means that you can actually extend this to your existing web server. So I have a demo in here. So if you can see, Coraz is actually only a library on Golang. So 
I tried to create a web server using Gorilla Mox. I hope you, you can read this. And just create a router and create the WAF instances, right? This is the instances. You can see it's need directive file. So if we open the default, it's the same thing. I think it's pretty similar with, uh, uh, what is that? Mode security, you can just put in the default conf what security role that you want to implement. For example, in here, I will try to block user, user URI, right? And I implement two paths on the web server, which is admin and user. Handle, uh, wrap the, the WAF with a uh, TXT wrap handle. And this is the handler for the uh, web itself, which is it will return this admin patch and it, and it will return this user. Let's try. I will open this port in 8000. Let's try to run those. Okay, I will split. Okay, we still have 20 minutes. So, to run, I will try to run the web server. If you can see, we implement login, I think. Yep. So if you can see it parsing the directive, we just set role. So, okay. The let's try to call control, not this one. Local calls eight thousand. Let's try to call admin first. I think let's try to call admin, right? If we call admin, it will return this admin page, which is is correct. And the log is actually evaluating, and it is no match, right? No match for the role itself. But when we call user. I think the, okay, it will return for 03 because it's, it's actually blocked by the WAF. And if you can see here, I think there should be match. Yeah, this one, executing. Yeah, anyway, I think you can see the logs later. Uh, we have short of time. But anyway, uh, you can try to actually implement uh, the, uh, the Coraza directly to your web server. Uh, either you use HTTP, uh, net HTTP directly, or you use some uh, library like Gorilla Mux, you can actually implement the, the WAF directly to your web server. So if you, for example, does not have, uh, just expose your server directly, something like this, you can implement WAF inside your code base. Okay, cool. So we already know how Coraz, uh, how the security language on Corazza works. Uh, it's actually enabling, it's also have Coral set by default and it can be implemented on the uh, Golang server. So let's see on how we can secure the Cloud Native, right? So Cloud Native is actually the software approach uh, or architecture of building, deploy and managing application in top of cloud computing. So there are five, uh, what is that? I can say building blocks to the cloud native. The first is immutable infrastructure. The second is microservice. The third is API, which is, should be a REST API or something. The fourth is service mesh and the five is containers. You. And this is, is the building blocks of the cloud native. Uh, and if you deploy your web service, it is front end or back end on the cloud, we most likely will use Kubernetes. And in general, there are two types of, uh, what, what I can say, end-to-end yeah, -end things. You create your web service in Kubernetes, you expose it via load balancer. The cloud provider will create load balancer for you. Or you put your web service in, in front of API gateway in Kubernetes. So this API gateway, for example, it can be Ingress Nginx, it can be Envoy, it can be Istio Service Mesh, all of those. So user will call Cloud Load Balancer, it will redirect to the this gateway, and it will redirect to your services. So that most likely there are two, but I'm not really sure if there is another one. But in Kubernetes, this is how we, uh, the most common one on how you expose your service to the public. And where we can actually put the WAF uh, to, to secure this architecture, right? You can put your WAF inside your service, your web service that I already showed to you previously. 
you just put uh, the WAF inside your code base, deploy it, and done, you have WAF. Or you can put your WAF in the cloud load balancer. This is most likely, it's actually enterprise WAF. You pay your cloud provider, hey, uh, I want to enable WAF in your load balancer, something like that. So it's most likely uh, it's uh, enterprise, which is uh, built in on to your cloud provider itself. The third one is, okay, I will not use my cloud load balancer to apply the, the WAF. I can put my WAF in CDN, right? For example, I can say you can use Akamai, Cloudflare, CloudFront, all of those. So you can also put the WAF in the, into the CDN. So yeah, and I believe most of this CDN solution should be enterprise because nobody can actually create CD, I mean, implement their own CDN, I think. And the fourth one is you apply those on the API gateway. on Nginx Ingress, or you can put those on Istio, you can put those in the Envoy. Again, I think most security is deprecated in when July. And I believe most of you, if you are using open source WAF, you will use this Nginx Ingress and you enable the, the mod security in there, <laughs> most likely. So again, uh, integrating with existing infrastructure, if you want to use, uh, for example, CDN is complicated. You want to use cloud load balancer is probably more complicated. And again, if you want to use enterprise, right? Not all company can pay for enterprise work solution. Uh, for example, startup just launched three, uh, six months ago or three until six months ago, for example, and they just getting attacked. But I don't think that it's possible for them to pay for enterprise work solution because it's it's pretty expensive in the beginning. For example, you need to rent it for uh, one year, uh, the contract, right? And I think not all not all of company can pay for this. So let's see on how uh, Coraza put in action to protect uh, the cloud net. I mean, for uh, to protect this uh, this kind of things. So we already have uh, in action for web, right? Let's try to put for this kind of scenario. So Coraza, apart from the HTTP middleware that I, I, I already demo to you, it's actually support a lot of uh, integration with existing uh, proxy. Uh, the, the most stable one is actually proxy wasm. It's a standard on a proxy. So we built uh, our Coraza as a web assembly binary and we can run it on every, I can say proxy that support this uh, proxy WASM uh, specification. Uh, the most stable one is actually Envoy. Nginx and Kong I think is still uh, in the, what is that? In development, but I think you can directly use that. API 6, Apache API 6, they just launched, I think this is in March 2023. Uh, I saw the, 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 their blog that they already support the proxy wasm motion. And actually you can run this web assembly in HTTP, I mean in, in HTML5 application. The, I believe the playground.corazo.io is the implementation of HTML application itself. So it's actually run on WebAssembly. Uh, Coraza also have integration with uh, dedicated integration with KD Server and Hatcher Proxy via SPOA. Yep. And I think we will try to mostly focus on Proxy Wasm because this is, is uh, I believe will in the future will be standard for extending the proxy capability. So again, this is, is Proxy Wasm. Previously, Every proxy has their own implementation to extend the functionality. For example, if proxy does not have red limit and they does not have a plan to implement those, they create their own standard. Okay, you can use this uh, specification to, to create your own plugins and integrate with us. Or you need to rebuild the code, adding the 
the where is that the extension uh, for example for that limit into the code and you use your own build right on 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 for example on a proxy uh proxy version come up to actually standardize this uh it's based on web assembly it's a portable binary that you can run on proxy that implement the the specification so with proxy wasm you can actually extend the functionality of a proxy you can write this extension with a, a lot of uh, programming language it's supporting go ras c++ and assembly script i think but yeah and you can open this proxy wasm for spec uh this the 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 cool with this proxy wasm is actually it's executed in a native speed and and it's and it's actually in in uh, executed in a sandbox which means that if it's fail it will not uh, make your proxy fail we can do something like that so coraza has web assembly implementation um i we call it coraza proxy wasm i think coraza proxy wasm this is the project uh and it's this it's stable uh and i i will try to bring uh, the use case of istio uh, right we have istio gateway that from uh, that fronted a service and it's calling from a public network so istio by the in uh inside istio is actually envoy so you can actually use this uh configuration and we can just uh implement web i mean waf which is called as a waf just by uh one object one yaml object it's pretty uh because it still support this via web assembly plugins object so this is is the configuration i ignore of this uh this is probably specific to istio but this is the uh the the image for coraza we can just okay put those on uh ghcr this is the the binary and this is the the configuration let's say in here i apply coral set detection only which means that every call to my gateway is still public gateway will be protected by coral set but it's detection only so we can directly see the locks but it will not enforce us to block a uh, domain okay let's the the important thing in in here is i want to roll out my web application firewall slowly so if if you think of api gateway one one api gateway can serve multiple domains right so it's not possible for us to roll out all of this domain uh, directly to us because we need to, to check we need to roll out one by one for example so we need mechanism to roll out this slowly so in coraza most likely in the coraza proxy wasm implementation we in, we have this per authority directive so for example we have three domains waf demo 0 0.1 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 i only want to enforce waf on 0 0.1 we can do this with per authoritative authority domain so as security engineer you does not need to roll out rest start or uh, i mean to roll out the WAF configuration directly to all of your domains because for example if there is a false positive we will get messed up uh, uh the, the real traffic will be blocked all of those so we can roll out uh, every domain slowly and if you can see here uh, i create two directive map the first is actually detection only and the second is coral set uh, I will try to demo this later. No worries. Uh, so the, the default directive is actually coral set detection only. But if the do, if they call us, if they call this API gateway with WAF demo 0 0.1, I will implement coral set. So per authority directive will be prioritized instead of default directive itself. You can also in against right, uh, coral set is pretty big rules and you uh, we can check 
later about the performance of the Coral set. And you can actually, hmm, I think this is wrong. Okay, oh, sorry. Okay, this, this partial is actually correct. Uh, you can actually implement partial rules on Coral set. Okay, for example, I only have, hmm, let's say Java application. I only want to implement uh, application attack Java. You can do that rather than using all of the Coral set capability. Or for example, okay, let's say, okay, let's start with application Java for a, a WAF demo 0 0.2 domains. And later, uh, let's try to add one by one the rules. We can also do that. So you can actually also create custom rule. Uh, for example, okay, I uh, apart from Coral set, I this is, is the same thing that I explained later, uh, I mean previously. Uh, to understand this, we uh, to able to create a custom role, we might need to understand the security language uh, from Corazel, right? So this is the same thing. I try to block uh, admin requests in this custom role, and I apply this in the WAF demo 0 0.2. So we still have 10 minutes. I hope that. I hope the demo can be. So let's see. In here, I have... Uh, I have two domains. Okay, let me rearrange this one. Yep. So curl, oops, curl HTTPS of demo zero one. Okay, how I can do that? Yeah, this one. And 0 0.2. Right, okay. I think let's use this rough text actually. So I tried to, uh, to attack with XSL. Wait, what is it? Accesses here. So let's try to pull this. It's return 200. 0 0.2 is also 200. Cool. So let's try to apply this on my API gateway, which is using Istio. And if you can see, the security rule engine is actually detection only. So let's try to lock the gateway. I hope you can see. Hmm. Okay, it's fishing image. Let's try to fish the image. Okay, I think it should be success now. Let's try to call multiple time. If you can see, the locks is there and it's actually requesting application accesses attack. And it's still reaching 200 because we say that, hey, this is detection only. We don't want to, uh, we just want to know is there any attack or not? We does not need to block it. Uh, let's be calm. Okay, <laughs> anyway. So in WAF 0.2, I will try to roll out both. I think let's try to roll out one. Yeah, let's try to roll out one. That should be fine. Let's try to roll out one, which is 0 0.2 to coral set, which means that it's it will be blocked, but for 0 0.1, it will not. Let's try to apply this. Okay, it's configure. Let's wait for probably five until 10 seconds because I think it's tech time to update. Oops. Let's try to curl 0 0.2. Okay, it should be, it should be, anyway. See, 0 0.2 returning for 0 0.3. Let's try to curl again. And what about 0 0.1? Let's see. Yeah, it's still reaching 200, yeah. So let's try to also onboard 0 0.1 to roll set, for example. So let's just put this, apply, that's done. Okay, still time. Okay, let's get so. Should be blocked, I guess. Yep. Yeah. And what about 0 0.2? Cool. So we already uh, roll out uh, these two domain into Coral set, which is it will implement all of the Coral set. Uh, let's see in WAF 3. Which, okay. In WAF 3, we only try to protect from XSS. See? 
we we try to okay okay let's just be specific i only want to protect my domain from xss so let's roll out 0 0.2 with xss rather than with coral set and see what happens oh there's a comment five minutes left to crash okay we still have we still have time right anyway okay uh let me make this uh faster so we roll out uh 0 0.2 uh let's see this is 0 0.1 it's not blocked right now right and when we roll out 0 0.2 when we call it it will be blocked i guess go cool. So it's actually only detecting excesses. So you can actually uh, onboard. And let's see, in zero, uh, in demo four, we demoing also SQLI. So zero one will be blocked only for SQLI, and zero point two will be blocked only for excesses. Rather than using coral set, we can use this. Let's try to apply. Da, da, da. Yep, it's configured. Let's test with this. So, 0, 02 is XSS and 0, 01 is SQLI. So, this is the SQLI for 0, 01. Let's see. Okay, it's blocked, right? But for 0, 0.2, it will not. See? For 0, 01, it will block because in the WAF 4, it's actually. Scale I, it's not XSS. Let's try to curl. Hmm, it take time. Okay. Okay. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think okay, okay. N02, I think it will be blocked, I guess. Yep. So with this, right? Uh you can actually uh uh roll out your domains, not all of them, uh, seamlessly, uh, slow and seamless, rather than just enforce all domain directly. And it's actually disrupt your business. We don't want to actually disrupt the business. We want to apply the security and business uh, seamlessly. So you can also create your own roles, which is this is, I try to block the admin request. Let's try to apply those. So, Oops. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Give me that. Give me a time. <laughs> My turn. Okay. Okay. I configure. Uh. Uh. Let's try to call zero point one with admin. So this is zero point one. I think it will be blocked, right? Yep. When I try to call 0 0.2, it will not because we are not blocking it. So, yep. I think that, that is the demo. Let me go back to the slide again. Uh, yeah, I hope that this is uh, useful for you to actually roll out your WAF slowly instead of enforcing it to all domains uh, in your company. So. I will talk about the performance a little bit uh, with 15,000 requests per second. The average latency, uh, I try to test this uh, with uh, k 6 is actually Grafana open source project. With full coral set, it's adding 57 milliseconds. The average, it's adding 57 average latency to the, to the request itself. When you actually implement coral set, with partial coral set, uh, partial uh, by partial, I mean that something like this. But more rules that we add, it will be at uh, it will adding more latencies, right? But last time I test it, it's at only six milliseconds to the request partial. So you can actually tune to ensure that you get the security, you get the performance. Uh, I mean, you, yeah, I mean, you can turn to get, uh, you get the security and you get the performance. Uh, 
So no one actually will complain about this. Okay, cool. Zufar. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Right. Good. Great timing. Great timing here. So, uh, okay. So we have a, a question um, from one of the uh, attendees. Uh, so the question is, can Coraza uh, WAF effectively protect the underlying NGINX server while it can uh, obstruct traffic passing through the server if the NGINX server itself is susceptible to local file inclusion? Uh, LFI, can Coraza be uh, relied upon to block such attacks? Hmm. Well, can obstruct traffic passing through the server in success of the local file inclusion. Hmm, okay, this is hard questions, actually. <laughs> uh, thank you uh, for uh, asking this one. Uh, I can say that I don't know the answer yet for now, uh, Donald. Uh, thank you for asking, but please, uh, let's, uh, let's try, uh, uh Again, I, I don't know the question right now. Uh, this is for LFI local file inclusion. Suspect people don't know if open the book. Yeah, I, uh, for, for the one who actually asking this, uh, please, uh, I think you can try to email me or contact me. Uh, so we, we can discuss uh, further on this one. Don't know. So, so the person who, uh, uh, ask the question, Siho. Do you, so uh, Zufar is uh, requesting that you uh, contact him directly and send that uh, question to him directly. All right. Yep. Okay, okay. So does anybody else have a question for Zufar at the moment? Okay. So uh, if no one has a question, I, I have a question, Zufar. So... <laughs> Uh, my question is, what is the strategy mm -hmm. to reduce zero-day attacks with open source WAF? Okay. Uh, I think the strategy to reduce zero-day attack with, uh, against like when, when zero-day attack is uh, occurring, uh, most likely, uh, I can say that role is not yet available on the open source one so the strategy on here is we we as a, for example infrastructure or security team need to have a backup plan so let's say uh, I think there are two strategies that I can think the first is we move to enterprise WAF for a several amount of time until the rule for uh, the zero day is available on the open source one. And after that, we can switch back to set cost. Obviously, we can do that. But uh, it's actually need a proper planning uh, for that. For example, it's uh, ability to be able to switch from uh, enterprise WAF to open source and, uh, and vice versa. Uh, we need a proper planning on that. But I think that is the uh, the easiest way uh, to, to protect from zero-day attack because when we actually use enterprise WAF, uh, uh, this company has their own security engineer that most likely will create the rules as soon as possible. So ability to switch from enterprise to, what is that? Open source and vice versa is actually is very good uh, if, if, if we can build those. The second thing is, I think, uh, for related to Coraza or mod security, I think there's a, a company that offer this kind of support. So you can try to check with them about the pricing, but it, it's it's up to you. So I think that there, there are two solutions. Either you, we, we build capability to switch between enterprise and open source uh, fast, Right, so when the zero day attack, okay, we don't have rule in community. Let's switch to the enterprise if if they already have, and after that switch back. But uh, the the other the other one is uh, we 
we use some uh, third party to actually help us to create uh, the rules for zero day something like that i think don't know excellent okay so excellent answer so uh are there any additional questions from uh, the attendees you can come off mute or just type it into the q a section Okay, so I have a, a quick question and we have about five minutes left, okay? So um, so my question is, from your perspective, uh, what OWASP uh, Carosa looks like in the future? Hmm. I think OWASP Carosa, uh, I think uh, if, if, if you ask me, right, uh, I think this is a very good replacement for mode security. It has uh, the same engine that can parse the rule. And I believe, uh, and it's also have uh, already great integration with the existing proxy like Envoy, Nginx, uh, Hexa proxy. So I think the future will be great uh, for, for Corazza. And if, uh, and Corazza also have uh, this ability to roll out uh, so the the question that that I get from uh most uh security engineers right because I most likely not a security engineer, I am is actually infrastructure engineer. The the question that I get from security engineer is how we can uh, roll out WAF without disrupting without disrupting the business, or or I, I get this from 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 the product engineer. So, and Coraza already has this capability. Uh, if I already demo those. So we can actually uh, roll out uh, the WAF seamlessly and uh, I mean partially to several domains, right? Uh, and Corazel already have this, uh, this feature. So that will actually be a positive value for security engineer, product engineer, and infrastructure engineer to decide which project they, uh, they will use because, yeah, something like that. Don't okay. Know. Thank you very much, Zufar. So again, uh, Zufar's uh, contact information is available on the service page. And um, so we're at the end of our session right now. So again, if there's any questions uh, that you may have, you may contact Zufar directly, or you can contact me and I can uh, redirect it to Zufar. So again, we thank you mm -hmm. everyone for attending this session today. And uh, Please enjoy the rest of the sessions and the rest of the afternoon. All right. So take care and have a good afternoon. Thank you, Donald. Thank you, Zofa. Take care now.